Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon SG Weekly's 99. We are just one away from the highly anticipated SG Poke um, number 100 here. So uh, today, joining me on the desk, uh, I'm Dew, and joining me today as a uh, special guest here is JJB. Say hi to Hey, what's up, guys? It's been, it's been a while. I mean, well, it's not been a while, but it's been a while since the last play Pokemon. But now, uh, you know, I decided to like, maybe I should just... I should join, uh, you know, SG Weekly. It's because, like, previously, right, before before 2021, uh, SG Weekly are, if I'm not mistaken, 8 p.m., 9 p.m. every Saturday. Yeah. So I, wasn't, I wasn't really able to, like, join those because it gets a little bit too late. So, But now, we're, we're out here. Yeah, we out here, Ben. And to start things off, we have a really exciting match here. We have the return of HC Moth on his Libre against our resident Gardevoir specialist here with uh, Enigma. Right. I mean, <laughs> Enigma, anyway, we don't need to, we don't need to introduce Enigma anymore. Enigma is Enigma. And yeah. having a Gardevoir, it's, it's, it's just, it's just a beast, you know? That Gardevoir from Enigma is just a beast. I, I have no words for that. But what I'm really interested about here is um, Moaf here. Going against his Gardevoir with this Libre. So uh, one thing that you notice a lot from Moff, he's, uh, his his characteristic is that he's a very very patient player. He'll take his time to get started, and he'll just slowly wear you down. So we're gonna see if he's able to keep up that. He's able to wear down the you know this. Incredibly scary behemoth that is Enigma's Gardevoir. Right, but you have to, you have to see as well that Enigma already has three calm minds on that, and on the upper. So really good zoning from the side of Enigma here. Moth here needs to get in one way or another, or else he wouldn't be able to do anything. And just like that, Enigma takes round one. Yeah, HC Moth wasn't really able to get the Libre Vortex started there. Wasn't able to stick in front of uh, Gardevoir's face and, you know, just oppress her with those really, really scary frame traps and mix-ups. But he gets right. the first kill this time. Oh, <laughs> oh just man. walk up. <laughs> Still, there's we go. one calm mind into the side of Enigma. But look at this combo right now. Big boy damage, but it was able to drop it, though. That's kind of unfortunate for him. Oh, but he's keeping Enigma in the corner. Enigma feels pressure to burst, yeah. Oh, that's right. the first, that's that's the first start in power. Look at this, very good zoning coming in from Enigma. But this that's is just a position that you're okay with with your HC Moth, because you still have the Jirachi on deck, and mm -hmm. you're running out uh, Enigma's burst time. Oh, that's a huge whiff. Oh, doesn't it quite able to punish there, no? Enigma oh, just nice whiff so punish. Bad. Doesn't get the web end there, though. Oh, and here with the Moonblast. Oh, let's see. Still have Jirachi in now, coming into the side. Signature Burst in hands, of course, but he still needs to get in. With this kind of zoning coming from Enigma... Oh, wow, never mind what I was going to say, but that drop? Quite unfortunate, but then again, he's going to keep him onto the edge, into the side of the field, but still... What is he going to be able to do with this kind of pressure? Okay, we're going to see here. Plus four. Enigma jumps out, gets anti at by the 5x. And HT Moth... See that that's very slow, patient play, just wearing your opponent down bit by bit, and it definitely paid off in, in the second round. Wow, I wasn't able to notice the timer going down, and definitely that was quite a strategy coming from Wop here, you know, trying to chip damage Enigma into, you know, basically ending the timer and getting the win by time. Yeah, uh, Libra is very, very good at uh, bringing games to time. Uh, combos uh, do take up a long time. They apply a speed debuff if you end it with Electro Web. And it, 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 all in all, it's just very good if you want to slow the pace of the match down. However, HC Moth gets started here. It should be a oh, Web wow. Ender. Oh, that's it. Doesn't get that the Just Frame. That is a very good Party Crasher. Oh yeah, all for right. those who are watching right now, if you don't know what Party Crasher, it came from you know Tekken and where that move was based on. <laughs> Julia, right? Yeah, Julia, yeah. yeah. Yeah, a really fun character to watch. Oh, he read the web! The first time HG Moth pulled it out, yeah. 
Enigma very very alert here and will catch the jump the 8x or 6a i can't I'm not sure what that, that move was but she does catch hits him off pressing buttons and this will be the end of the first game just like that dude enigma getting in a 2-1 for the game number one still even when wap gets in one round enigma is just just scary it, it was just scary dude i i I don't know what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna be facing off with hit with her, but I just do hope that I would at least get around, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, if you if you're not sure what to you are doing again, if you let Gardevoir's a character, if if you let her do what she pleases, you will just get steamroll because she'll that just true. send you full screen. She'll start stacking calm mines, and once you get in again, it's gonna be pushed full screen again by the by the spot power, so it's a very very scary thing, you have to understand where the holes are, and so far HC Moth is doing a good job, gets into the first field. See, Head egg change. Go. Trying to get in, really doing a good job of zoning Enigma out, but Enigma just going in with a forward, with a forward A. Yeah, but Ishimaru is doing a good job so far. She he's walked Enigma to the corner, and this is the position. Oh, swaps corner swap. No, swaps back. <laughs> again, out again. Oh, very right. good zone and quite a calculated move as well. Just enough to get in inside Enigma. And look at this right now. Very huge high damage combo coming in from yeah, Ishimaru right and now. The very and good. And drops her right in front of him. All right. Enigma is in the blender now. Does he bait it? No, he does not bait the Umbreon. This gives Enigma some breathing room. Gets tagged. And oh, another web here. Electro web. Yeah, oh, this is huge damage. Yeah, with the wall Enigma splat too. Really That's dead. important. Look at this. Oh, oh clean just movement in. coming out. Gets it a counter hit. Really amazing. Magical leaf coming out. Oh, six seconds right. into oh, the clock right now. HC Moth oh, burst wow. here, he was, he's going to, he's gonna go for the chip! Alright, just punish us, ah, uh, good stuff. Oh Amazing wow, he hate. gets in the KO before the timer runs out. Amazing Yeah, stuff. that's huge, and he gets his sheer skill off of that, so now he can just start the round with Jirachi, and his meter is already a quarter of the way to fully build. Yeah, right, but you have to remember that I think Enigma just wanted to get that loss at that round just because of the fact that whatever she does is that you know she already has the lower health she just wants to keep and you know retain that first meter but anyway going moving forward into the next round look at the hp right now currently at the life deficit enigma is having a hard time against hc oh, but that frame kill there right getting the umbreon draining the synergy meter of hc moth that's very important here oh the, the movement moth. from hc though Yes. Oh, oh Demon Slayer goes underneath that. Oh, but hits him off immediately answers back, waking up with the wild charge, sending Enigma back into the field corner. Enigma forced to burst here. Right. Oh yeah, Demon Slayer from uh Asuka. Yeah. I, I said forward, <laughs> I said forward too. That's the same move, but you know <laughs> it, it even low crashes too in this game. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, Enigma burst here, doesn't want to deal with the pressure, HC Moth, holding block. All right, plus 16, that move is ridiculous, but Enigma, somehow she's always, is she reacting to Electro Red? That's crazy. And you have to remember, oh. only like less than 10 seconds left, no burst for oh. HC here, Enigma takes game, no, not game number one, but like round number two. Round it's two. Early one, one. This is gonna be the final round for this game. If Enigma takes this, then he's gonna go. Uh, she's gonna go home with a. Uh... Oh wait, not yet. It's a best of five, right? You're going to go with the grand. Final. It's going to go. Five. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Oh, outlasting the CA Gardevoir is HC Moth. Oh, I guess the like web though. Another huge damage. Yeah. Keeping oh, Enigma oh, in the, in there the we end. go. Two webs. He's just thankfully for Enigma. You don't want to be trapped there. Oh, gets the moon blast. Oh, well, that's pretty huge. She's full screen now, but gets tagged by the discharge. Might have gotten the moon blast, but that's not that's not stopping HC with his very amazing pressure right now. Yes. Oh wow. Nice. Jumping nice. Like 
Oh, JY rather. Jumping Y. Yeah. Thank you for correcting me. And there we go. Party Crasher again. Into the corner. I think I think this is going to be enough. If she, if yeah. he gets another web. Oh, no, not no. good enough. Base ship is going to He did get a... He out. did have scaling. Oh, a what? He went through the start power with the fault Y. That looks... That was a little bit interesting. I'm going to have to rewatch that a little bit. Enigma trying to go for the chip here. Yeah. Only 15 seconds left on the clock. This is a very tall task for Oh wow! Enigma. That's, oh, so that's huge. That's huge. That's huge. She could win off of this, but the burst coming out. This chip damage could be vital. Look at the time. Oh, Look at the time. What's, what's gonna happen? Oh, oh very good anti-air jab though. <laughs> the anti-air jab oh. is, that was <laughs> who, who, who would have thought? Who would have thought that it would anti-air? Ah, uh, yeah, the hitbox is... It's a, it's a I-15 move, very, very quick as move with most jabs. Uh, you don't often see jabs being used as anti yet, so good stuff coming from HC Moth. This is what I like about Oaken. You don't, you don't really... You can't really calculate, calculate everything that you would do, just because they're stuff that would just work, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it yeah. just would work, you don't question it, it just works. <laughs> of course, of course. But now we're going to go into game three here. Yeah? Enigma was had a good momentum from the first game, but HD Moff is able to slow it down to his pace. Oh, very nasty frame kill from Enigma. Alright, look at that. Oh, counter hit gets blocked though. And it puts Enigma in a safe place just because, you know, there are a lot of uh, counter hits that puts a, puts a Pokemon in a very not safe frame, but Enigma, of course, Gardevoir puts her in a very safe place. But look at this big combo right now coming in from HC and definitely just trying to pick up the pace right now, giving all the pressure into Enigma because the moment that he gives Enigma a breathing room, then she would be able to set up every combo that she needs, every setup that she needs, and would just basically demolish HC here with his zoning. I think HD Moss has also identified his win condition. Once every time he's gotten in, he's been able to and he's uh, gotten the 50-50s, right? He's been able to get a lot of damage. He's been able to vortex him into uh, Enigma into bad situations over and over again. And look now, he's in the corner. Enigma, oh, jump X there. HD Moss burst here, but look at the timer. Six seconds left the on the clock. Did? This might be too late, though. Did Enigma press the button? Oh, calls the oh, Umbreon. Oh, wow! That was clutch. Oh, but the stuff the and the Enigma winning by a hair, by a, a hair's breath two there. Percent. <laughs> yeah, two percent. Two percent. Look at this right oh, now. Uh, Amazing double oh, team. Oh, nice double team. So, uh, as I was about to say, uh, uh, the way Pokémon decides health ties is based off the percentage of remaining health instead of that. Absolute right. value since each character has different amount of health there. Uh, mm -hmm. Libre has a uh, yeah health. I need to go double check that. But uh, since <laughs> Enigma has a higher health percentage, it definitely worked in his favor. Ooh, rock right. charge get stuff by the future side. Oh, nice forward A with three commons as well. And you have to remember, Enigma is on a very huge advantage right here. Still has the burst meter, but at the same time, HC here has a burst meter and Jirachi as well. Good with punish. Oh wow, very good. Just like that, he was able to switch up the advantages. Umbreon coming out right now, just that was huge. That Umbreon is huge. Oh man, if if Enigma did have this Umbreon, oh wow, if Enigma did have an Umbreon, then that would have been the game for HC. I don't think so. I think she would have recovered in, in time, but that Umbreon definitely uh, was a huge factor because it drained the meter immediately. It denied the threat of the immediate burst coming declare from HD Moth. So I think that's very good recognition of resources coming in for Enigma. Right, right. But let's see though. This is going to be game number four. Current score that we have right now is 1-2 in favor of Enigma. Let's see, is there any support change? No, we're both sticking to supports. Same supports here. 
they're changing they're still using the same leads same oh wait not leads dude this is not vgc what am i trying to say bro <laughs> <laughs> oh. still the same, it's still the same pokemon look this guess in the grab enigma currently uh, into the light. that's a huge amount of that's a huge likely it's still early at the round start right and she also has the burst meter lead as well so that's something wow. to look forward to oh very good zoning from enigma right now Still no Jeez. damage, not one bit. Oh, are we gonna see the perfect? Wow. Uh, we are. Oh wait, unfortunately, not quite yet. Not quite yet. It, it is a perfect. It is perfect. We just don't get the seven oh, golden yeah, letters in this game. Right. Unfortunately, right, right. no seven golden letters. <laughs> Man, why am I? Why am I doing this like Tekken? This is Pokemon. <laughs> it's Pokemon Tekken, man. All right, we're gonna power crasher, crasher once again. Them. Coming in from HC, but oh, that's quite an unfortunate face shift. Wasn't able to get in as much damage as he could have. God, yeah, that ridiculous tracking from Ricky Gardevoir's field moves. Ooh, right. Oh, amazing. It's the field face win. Face shift right now. It's a good positioning for HC Mouth. Yes, another face shift. Now he's gonna be able to run in for a 50. Oh, another one though. Discharge. He's waiting, gets knocked down by the 2x, however. And they must swap to corner, Ooh, like big that. damage. Drops it, she drops like it though. Oh, the Umbreon! Oh, that was that was clutch coming in from Enigma. That was a good Umbreon. Let's keep a hasty mouth in the corner and look at the resources. Yeah. Yo, Barely I like any health left. Coming in from Enigma though, he set, uh, she set up the, you know, uh, the, uh, what do you call that move again? Uh, down A. And then teleport uh, off of it as well. Yeah, the future oh, site. And future site makes her really, really safe. And I really like that play coming in from Enigma. And the moment that it didn't hit, he, uh, she just brought oh, but out she got tagged. everyone. She got tagged by the oh. discharge. That's very, very hard move to react to, on, especially online. And uh, HC Moth been using that as a very effective lunging tool. Right. Oh man, this is this is what I came for in Pokemon SG. Yeah, it's well, you're gonna... Alright, plus frames on the, the, the A. Just backs off. AC Moth is got an cool. Enigma in the corner. However, oh, Enigma fights her way out. JX6X. That's uh, XY. Apologies. Right, 1 plus 2 was able to get a hit to get in the field phase. Enigma currently into the phase advantage here, but never mind. Look at that right now. HC needs to do something here. Still Ooh. has the first meter up. Gary oh, gets hit by damage. the JX. Crusher, though. All right, here oh, we go. Wow. Phase shifts is the speed down debuff. HC Mark is going to be able to chase down Enigma quite effectively, but Enigma fires off the moon blast. Like zoning. No. Movement has been buff, has been debuffed, but oh, he has been KO Enigma. Watch. That is it. Yeah, HC Moff didn't watch his ankles, forgot there was a future site set behind him, got pushed back into it. And that will be all she wrote. Enigma advancing to win a side of Grand Finals here.